Okay, good morning again, uh, David Elliott. I'd like to talk uh, a little bit about a uh, funny topic, perhaps, but it uh, hopefully will illustrate a point. All of these videos uh, can be seen both on YouTube and on dgconsultancy.co.uk. But what I'd like to talk about now is the fact that you cannot sell champagne from milk bottles. What do I mean by this? Basically, what I'm suggesting here is that when a company is looking at the challenges of its marketplace, then what it does has to fit both with the organisation itself and with the external environment. In other words, uh, it has to have something that is termed by congruency. Uh, an illustration will perhaps help here where if a low-cost supermarket wishes to attract a very uh, specific segment, for example, those who are interested in organic foods, then it has to be aware of who shops with them. It is unlikely that the example quoted will make any sense. It may be philosophically very interesting to suggest that all your products are from an organic source. But if your customers are coming to get value for money, then perhaps having products from an organic source will not be high on the priority list. So that is a, a mismatch. And what we're talking really about is avoiding a mismatch. Avoiding the ridiculous situation where you're trying to sell champagne from a milk bottle. How can companies prevent this sort of thing happening? One example is to not over-promise. Uh, ideas from the marketplace are readily available nowadays. There are trend-spotting websites. So it's very easy to pick up an idea. However, is that idea relevant for your company? Is it within your specific competencies and will it actually appeal to your customer profile? This type of analysis needs to be done, needs to be rigorous, rigorously exercised within the organisation. And sometimes this can be quite difficult because we all like to feel perhaps Walter Mitty-ish like that we are a little bit better than in fact we are. It's no problem to stretch and try and constantly improve, but you must do that which you're competent to do. In other words, don't overpromise, don't try and sell champagne in milk bottles and stick really to what you're good at. If you're able to do this, then over time it's likely that you will get better and better at what you do. And in fact, the costs of delivering the service or product are likely to decrease, at least reduce, and that will allow you to have more time to learn, to add to your uh, offering and enable you to grow together with your customers. Thank you very much.